So you want to be a chef. So being a chef requires a sheer load of passion and determination, perseverance, and maybe a touch of thick skin. So my name is Josephine Lok, and I am the executive sous chef at Andasol Kangnam with the Hyatt Hotels. So my work experience range from casual to fine dining, and I would say that my time in the CIA has been an extremely memorable one. So the bachelor's degree in culinary arts management laid the foundations for me to get a head start in the industry. Of course, by head start, I don't mean I was better than my peers with the same experience. It just made me more better prepared to face the challenges that I would hit, which I would face in the future, which was plenty. So you meet a lot of like-minded foodies in the course. Um, who would share this journey of discovery together and what better way to learn than to be with people who are like-minded, passionate and share the same experience. So, during this course, they will always cover a lot of essential modules like product knowledge and the cooking methods to hands-on life skills and they also expose you to like different cooking cuisines and styles which in this day and age is really important and Cuisine, like you know, culinary scene has been really evolving these days. So having a little bit of international knowledge is really useful, as it allows one to be more playful and inventive when creating new dishes. Now, the way the class was scripted, it makes you inquisitive, like curious. You want to know more, especially on your own as well. So you do your own research at times. You know, you go out and explore like supermarkets or dine in restaurants to get a wider perspective and a culinary experience. So this program is both a balance of theory and practical, which is very important as they, you need both to go far. So like cooking is the fun part, but I would say the operation management is where it starts to get really interesting. So, and also challenging like how to balance the PL, how to ensure that the operation is profitable while maintaining guest experiences and quality for food and beverage. So having these details exposed before I started my actual culinary experience in the kitchen really helped me as I adapted a lot faster and when it was really finally time for me to do it, it, it made it easier to grasp the concepts in a sense. So. In a way, I would say it helped to shorten the amount of time that I would have had to take if I had not done the course before. So I took the express course, which was um, practical in the morning and then theory in the afternoon. But and every week you always have a like a little challenge, like a test that you that helps to keep you on your toes, but also to help you retain the knowledge that you require. But I would say the best part of this experience is not just meeting the great professors who come from whom they fly all the way from the Culinary Institute of America, but also the people that you share this journey with who will also share the same, you know, the challenges, the woes. And even after you finish the course, you will still keep in touch with the same people and grow together along the way. And in a sense, it helps you to establish, like, in a sense, a network. So you are not alone, essentially, even when you start your journey, the CIA is still with you, as are the friends and your future peers and seniors who did this, who walked the same journey with you. So, all in all, wishing you all the best on your culinary experience. Fighting. <laughs>